Hello, I'm Donald Leggett. Welcome to the latest London South East Focus IR CU interview. I'm joined by Steve Kessler, and he's the executive chairman of Cleantech Lithium, the aim listed lithium explorer and developer who currently have two active projects in the uh, Chilean Andes right now. Cleantech have just raised £8 million from institutions at 22 pence per share and currently have an open offer for retail shareholders. Uh, Steve joins me to put the placing in context. Welcome, Steve. Nice to be talking to you again, Donald. Yes, it's always a pleasure to have you on, Steve. Now, you raised £12 million last year and did a lot with those funds. So tell us how you've been building the cleantech lithium business in Chile. Yeah, sure. Now, we, we did the, the, the raise of the £12 million last uh, October, and that was for a, a well-defined uh, technical program for a year until October th this year. And principally, that went into uh, drilling in, uh, in Laguna Verde, um, allowed us to increase the, the resource, but in particular, uh, the measured and indicated resource, which we need uh, for the pre-feasibility study. Uh, we published the scoping study uh, with very robust um, e economics and have moved on to a pre-feasibility study using the engineering company uh, Wally uh, on that. Uh, moved into drilling in, um, in, in Francisco Basin, did another five holes, also declared uh, the first uh, significant resource there, 0.9 uh, m million tons, and clearly that's got tremendous expansion potential, which we want to get um, on, onwards. We've been working with our technology provider, uh, Sun Resin, on the, the DLE uh, technology, and we bought um, a pilot plant you know, from them at the cost of $2 million. Uh, all the parts of that have now been uh, delivered to site. Uh, they're being erected as we speak, and at the end of this month, uh, the commissioning engineers from Sun Resin uh, will be with us uh, starting the commissioning of that plant. And our expectation is to get that up and running uh, by the end of the year. And a tremendous amount of, of other work has been going on. We've been doing the environmental baseline studies on both projects, the hydrogeological modeling, which is important if you're re-injecting uh, the brine back um, underground, metallurgical studies, community uh, relations. So a tremendous amount of work has been gone uh, into to get us to this position. And presumably the, the next £8 million pounds is, is to carry on that momentum forward. So t tell us how you see uh, you know, that money being spent. Yeah, no, the, the markets are, are, are difficult um, at, at the moment, but now is the drilling season in, in, in Chile, and we want to get on and do additional drilling at, at Laguna Verde. That's both to increase the resource and uh, get more measured and, and indicated, but also to do uh, uh, wells that we can do pump testing and re-injection tests, because that's important to uh, demonstrate that we can re-inject the brine um, un un underground. Um, with the amount of money that we've raised, there's also going to be the ability to to spend a bit on 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 Francisco um, Basin to do additional drilling there to get the resource uh, larger. But our aim is to concentrate on getting Laguna Verde as a, as advanced as quickly as possible. Uh, the pilot plant is going to be very very important. So we we've bought that, uh, but now we're going to uh, get it up and running and produce the 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 purified lithium eluate from the DLE, which we'll then send to um, an, an existing uh, processing facility in, in, in Canada to have that uh, concentrated and processed into battery grade lithium carbonate. And that's a very important stage for us because we, we demonstrate how the DLE works, but then we can demonstrate that we make battery grade material um, from our brine. Uh, we plan to be making one ton a month, now, which is sufficient to provide large samples you know, for potential off-takers and, um, and strategic partners. So do, next, you, do, you, do you see this next year being a year of off-take agreements and uh, progress on that front? Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, our, our, our belief is, as a company, we haven't wanted to get into substantive discussions on, um, on off-take agreements until we have a solid body of information and we can uh, negotiate with off-takers and strategic partners from a position of strength. That means good knowledge of the resource, demonstrating that the pilot plant is up and running and producing battery-grade um, lithium carbonate, and having completed the pre-feasibility study, which we expect at the end of the first quarter next year, which has got the project design in it, the, the CapEx, the OpEx, and can demonstrate the robust economics 
of the project. And my experience is dealing with most large companies. They don't really want to get into substantive discussions until at least the pre-feasibility study level. So we'll be in good position there. Uh, we've mentioned in the past that we've applied for our operating contracts from the Chilean government. Uh, we've done that for both Laguna Verde and Francisco Basin. They've been well received and we'll be uh, liaising you know, with the um, appropriate authorities. And our expectation is to get those uh, contracts end of first quarter, early um, early ne next quarter. So we're, we'll be in a very, very good position uh, to start those discussions with strategics and, um, and off takers. So the money that we've raised now gets us into that position end of first quarter, um, early um, second quarter next year. But we've always said that um, to move this project, it will require continual work. The, the only way to, to gain value for, for our shareholders is to do the work, and that takes, uh, that takes the cash to, to, to do that. So we'll get a good position by the end of the first quarter. Um, we aim to do um, another raise at that time in, uh, in association with the listing on the ASX. You mentioned that, um, that before. Uh, we had expected um, to uh, complete that ASX listing, which we announced earlier in the year, by about um, September. So you know, we were going to do this raise, at, which we've just done now, as part of the ASX um, listing. For a whole number of, of regulatory reasons, and the, the reality is the ASX is inundated with applications. They've been losing people to the private sector. It's been going much slower. So our expectation is that ASX listing uh, will only be complete you know, end of first quarter, early second quarter next year. But it's, but it's definitely happening. Definitely happening. No, no we, we have 30% of our shareholders are, are in Australia. Um, our leading shareholder, Regal Funds, have you no know, 15% of no shareholding. They're really encouraging us to, to complete that, that dual listing. Uh, there's a lot of excitement um, in the lithium industry in um, Australia, a lot of M&A activity. We've been seeing you know, Alba Mali making a bid for Lionstown at $6.6 .6 billion. Uh, SQM have made a bid for Azure at one point something billion. Uh, so there's a lot of M&A ac uh, activity. People want to be involved in lithium. And many of the institutions in Australia can only invest in uh, ASX listed companies. They can't list outside of the ASX. So we want to be there, a deeper pool, good knowledge of, uh, of lithium, and we will expect when people see uh, what we've been doing in Chile, uh, they will take to this project very, very well. Uh, so you, you, the institutions have actually stuck with you this time around, but you think that by going on the ASX, it, 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 it makes it easier for them to, to invest? Yes. Um, we've been very strongly supported by our, our leading um, institutions, particularly um, Regal. And so when they came in uh, to the project in the early you know, pre-IPO, then the IPO at, at 10%, um, when we did the, 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 the secondary in, in, in October, they increased their position to 15%. They made it very clear they want to be supportive of the project. In this raise, they've maintained their position at, uh, at 15%. So they put in 1.2 million pounds of this raise. Um, another uh, major institution, JCAM here in, in, in London, has also come into a big position. So they are now going to be a, a significant shareholder. And many of the other institutions that have been part of us in the last year um, have maintained their, their, their position. So we're very pleased with the, the degree of support that we've got. Okay. Previously, uh, you mentioned the market conditions were difficult. How would you describe them, the market conditions? How would you describe them at the moment? And how did this impact the raise? The reality is market conditions are absolutely dire in, in, in general terms. And it's been uh, difficult uh, in, the, in the lithium market. Um, before doing the, the, this raise, I, I went on, on a roadshow with, uh, with Aldo. We met many institutions in New York and then through Munich and Zurich and Frankfurt and here in, in, in London. And there's a common message. You know, conditions are tough. Uh, institutions have been facing re you know, redemptions. They're short of cash. Uh, we've seen the, uh, the lithium price uh, slide by 70% in the last year. Every lithium almost every lithium company share price has been dropping um, and, and ours um, in, in included. 
So the mere fact that uh, under these conditions that you know, we got the support uh, that, that that we did, we went out for the minimum raise you know, of of six million to keep uh, Laguna Verde uh, pro progressive on on, uh, on track. Um, we got oversubscribed um, by a considerable amount. Uh, we decided to take only only eight. Uh, that's what we need for Laguna Verde and the digital drilling at at, at Francisco Basin. We recognize the price that there is in the market. I mean, that's the market price. Uh, um, we took a, a, a small discount you know, to, uh, to, to, to yesterday's price, a 15% discount. I've been looking at, uh, at transactions in, uh, in Australia. Now, also this week, Neo Metals announced they did a 7 million raise with a 26% no discount. That is the market which is um, out there. So we're very pleased. Uh, we took um, eight. Um, left quite a bit um, on on the table because we know uh, that come end of the first quarter, early second quarter, uh, we'll come back for another raise with the ASX listing for the rest of next year's program. Okay, my final question to you, Steve. Uh, always a pleasure to have uh, to speak to you, but my final question, sadly. Uh, why do you think now might be a good time to clean tech lithium on your watch list? Well, I think we've got very exciting you know, projects. Now, uh, lithium will be in a market balance in the in the next year or two, and that's been affecting uh, the price. But the the long term is looking at a considerable structural deficit you know, for lithium as the world is electrifying its vehicle fleets and wants to put batteries in connection with uh, um, storage uh, from renewable energy. So in the in the medium to to, to long term, this is the place um, to to be. We've got excellent projects you know, in Chile. We've got two. Um, advanced projects. Chile is a mining country. It's a very stable country, a very supportive government. We've got very good technical skills in the country to bring these projects you know, on stream very, very rapidly. And we plan to have uh, the first project um, up and running by the end of 2026 and producing battery grade and making very good profits for our shareholders. The mere fact that the markets have been bad, we've had to raise this at 22p, no, that unfortunately is uh, is the market, and it's been a great position uh, for people to to get into. That's why our major institutions um, have um, maintained their position. That's why the directors also put in three hundred thousand um, into this because we believe uh, that uh, clean tech lithium is is a very very good investment um, story going forward. And the retail investors are very, very keen on on directors aligning themselves with shareholders. So that's a very good move from on your point. Yep, absolutely, and 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 we we know there's uh, quite a number of of shareholders will be disappointed that um, the price that we got was 22, but that that's the market. There are other ways of uh, obtaining funds like debt, but that's not a good way to go. You know, for a, a junior um, explorer developer, that's uh, pre revenue. We've had other offers um, of, of of funding with various mechanisms, but none of those. Uh, look very attractive compared to just doing a straight equity raise with um, our shareholders. Okay, Steve Kessler, Executive Chairman at Cleantech Lithium. Thanks very much for, for putting the share placing in a commercial context for us. That was very helpful. Thank you so much. And for more free company information and data about Cleantech Lithium, uh, please go to the CTL pages on London Southeast. And meanwhile, do follow us on Twitter. That could be at underscore focus IR underscore or alternatively at London Southeast. Um, and if you want to see more interviews like this one, then go to London's Happy YouTube to receive alerts to our next clean tech interview. Uh, all that remains is for me to thank you for watching. Thank you.